Hey guys, Max Roberts here with Go Left Gaming. This is episode 8, 7, I should start keeping better count of it, of my weekly vlog series here on my YouTube channel. You can find a new episode every Thursday, but today is Friday. Why wasn't there an episode yesterday? It's not because, well, it was because I procrastinated, in a sense. Um, basically, starting last Monday, so 10 days ago, I started from the beginning Breaking Bad. Never had seen the show Breaking Bad before, and it just ended the night before. Uh, the show was done the night before, last episode. So I decided, like, you know, maybe I should watch the show. So I started on that Monday, 10 days ago. 10 days later, yesterday, when's Thursday, I finished Breaking Bad, all six seasons, in ten days, every episode. Productivity. And that's why there wasn't an episode yesterday. I was in the final four episodes, final five episodes of season six, or the second half of season five. I'm really not clear. iTunes says it's season six. Other people say it's the second half of season five. Whatever floats your boat. I was in the last four or five episodes when I finished it yesterday. Now, before you shut this off, no spoilers for Breaking Bad or any of the television shows I'm going to talk about. Because today I'm going to talk about TV. I thought t TV does influence video games to a certain degree. It's part of multimedia, and, you know, most people love television shows. And I just finished Breaking Bad, and that's why this is a day late. It, Breaking Bad overall... I think it's safe for me to say that it is the best cinematography I've seen in a television show and most average films. The cinematography and the symbolism of Breaking Bad were top-notch. Michael Slovis is the director, the picture director of the whole series. Genius props to him and his team because at the end of the toward the end it said Michael Slovis Associates, so I'm pretty sure he's he's well off right now. He's a genius. The symbolism, all that stuff was fantastic. The writing is very good. Um a lot of people locally, my friends, say Breaking Bad's the best television show to ever air on television. Um It's a good one. It's a great one, and it's definitely my top. And I've kind of I've kind of joked now it's a tradition. Every October, I'm just going to have to watch Breaking Bad over again. But is it the best? Not to me. The best to me is the Avatar The Last Airbender, which is a cartoon. But it's when people hear it's a cartoon, it just shuts them off and they think it's childish. When actually, it's one of the deepest, most well-developed stories with the, some of the greatest characters of all time ever created for a television show and it lives on in this legacy of the legend of Korra which tonight's a new episode which oh my goodness the cliffhanger at the last the end of last week's holy cow anyway no spoilers for any tv shows here avatar last airbender is my personal favorite television show of all time just nothing beats avatar and it could ne nothing ever will to me a few, a few other great TV shows I really personally enjoy. 24 was great up to season 6. After season 6, 7 and 8 were just... I'm sorry. I'm excited for season 9 here, or this return of Jack Bauer. I'm really stoked about it. Uh, I have a lot of hope for it. And maybe my hopes are a bit too high. I might just make it about a peace treaty again. Who knows? Another one, another great one, if you love suspense and just a non-stop suspense thrill ride, Prison Break, all of, all of these shows I'm talking about, except Avatar, is on Netflix so far. Prison Break is on Netflix. Great, great show. Absolutely great. Um, another great show, which is on season nine, it's final season now. I'm a season behind. I'm on the Netflix time schedule, is How I Met Your Mother. I like to tell my parents, my parents watched Friends all the time, and I kind of grew up watching Friends. I've seen quite a few episodes. Have I watched them in order and know every little detail and story? No. 
but my parents do. My parents love Friends, and I tell them that How I Met Your Mother is today's Friends, is my generation's Friends. You know, Marshall, Lily, Ted, Robin, and Barney are my friends. So it's on its final season. I'm on this Netflix schedule, and it kind of kind of sucks, because what happened was I started Breaking Bad last Monday. Well, on Tuesday, season 8 of How I Met Your Mother hit Netflix, and I had to make a decision, Breaking Bad, How I Met Your Mother. Clearly, I chose How I Met Your Mother. I mean, Breaking Bad. Duh. Ugh. Such a good show. I'm still coping. Still, I don't know if I'm a bigger fan than the people that watched it from the beginning. I watched it in 10 days. Not 49 hours of my life, just poof. Um, I don't know. Am I a bigger fan? Tell me. In the comments below. What other great TV shows are I love The Big Bang Theory. That's a great one. It's just... That dynamic of four nerds who I can relate to on different levels, and then Penny, I mean, it's just, that's a great show. I love that show. That's pretty funny. Uh, my family is very into Duck Dynasty. I think it's pretty funny. I mean, you know, rednecks doing redneck stuff. I mean, hey, I am down to watch that. Some other, just like classics, you know, classic Cartoon Network. That's great. Cartoon Network. The regular show. Adventure Time? Now, I'm going to say something a bit controversial. It seems a majority of my friends and the internet think Adventure Time is utterly fantastic. And it is. It's a great, great show. The Actually, the depth of storytelling is that it's much deeper once you watch the show, you know, so much of the show. And um, the art, this, it's pure imagination is what Adventure Time is. And I love that. But I think the regular show is better. I said it, internet. The regular show is better. Uh, I, I think the regular show is more of a bro show. It's totally, it's just about two pals who do stuff. And I just, I totally can dig that, you know. Self is bumpier. It's just, it's a bro show. And I can get behind a bro show. Now, you know, Jake and Finn are bros. Literally, in a way, weird way. But, you know, Mordecai and Rigby, they're more bros. They're bro bros. So that's great. Um, then you know, other just great TV shows. You know, TV's great. TV is a a great way to. It's like mini tele. It's mini movies. I watch Weeds. I watched Weeds religiously. You know, for that whole time span. Weeds was fantastic. Season six. I I like to say for Weeds, every even numbered season is the best, and every odd number season built. Was just a build up into season, the even numbered ones. So I think two, four, six, and eight are the best seasons. There's not many other TV shows that I watch. I really don't. I'm going to finish How I Met Your Mother at a much slower pace than Breaking Bad. A much slower pace. Uh, but I'll, I'll watch that. And then season nine, I may do what I did with Breaking Bad and just buy the final season on iTunes. Uh, just to watch it. Or um, I could wait for Netflix, I guess. No rush. Ooh! How could I forget it? The Walking Dead, which starts up Sunday night. Season 4. Super stoked about that. We always have a bunch of friends go together at my one friend's house upstairs. They've got really nice big TV and sound system, and we watch we watch it every week together. Another... Ooh! Another... I'm just thinking all the stuff I've watched recently. Recently, I've gotten hooked on Once Upon a Time... What's so great about that show, what's so, got a hair in my face, what is so great about Once Upon a Time is it takes these stories we all know. We all grew up listening to the fairy tale stories of, you know, Snow White and um, Sleeping Beauty and um, Beauty and the Beast and Peter Pan, all these stories, Disney, you know, Disney effectively provided it for us. And now Disney's made a mature version of it. But they take what you know and they turn it over on itself. That was a Dark Knight quote, if any of you got it. I take the world. Wow. Great movie. And, yeah, the Once Upon a Time is great. Great stuff. Season 3 just started. I haven't been able to watch any of it because I work on Sunday nights when it airs. What? What else? 
I'm, I'm, I'm not looking away on purpose. I'm just looking around for other TV shows that I might have. And I really don't see <laughs> any. And I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up. I've been talking about TV for 10 minutes. TV's great. TV is part of this culture and this nerd multimedia culture, and I love it. So, want to talk about TV? Want to talk about Breaking Bad? Because holy cow, that ending. Fantastic. Fantastic show. Beginning to end. My favorite episode, season three? I know the name of it. It's Crawl Space. Favorite episode, tied with, I can't pronounce it right, Taliichi Hoe. It was the fourth episode from the very end. Those are my favorite episodes. What's your favorite episode of Breaking Bad? What's your favorite TV show? I mean, Avatar is mine. What's yours? Let me know. Comments below. Don't forget to share, subscribe to this channel to watch more of these videos. There's a new vlog every Thursday, unless I'm binge-watching Breaking Bad. And I'm Max Roberts. And always remember, go left.